Be very careful where you step. This has long been my territory. Swamp clouds are everywhere. Get stuck in the bog and you won't get out on your own. I am a vassal who serves God and El. I am Skyboss Gedatsu. Hello and welcome to One Piece 101, the series that breaks down everyone and everything in the One Piece world. Today we are going to be examining the ever intriguing ex-priest of God and El, Skyboss Gedatsu. Gedatsu is a very tall citizen of the Sky Isles, sporting gravity-defying dreadlocks and a bold yet somehow cohesive fashion sense. And alright, just to get this right out of the way at the beginning, Gedatsu is a strange, strange man. He is quite possibly one of the weirdest characters in the entire series, and at this point I would like to remind you all that we are talking about One Piece, a series well known for its, uh, how shall we put this, unique pool of characters. However, Gedatsu stands out quite strongly, primarily due to his arsenal of strange habits, none of which he is actually personally aware of. And yet we as humans and beings all have strange quirks like grinding teeth and whatnot, but Gadatsu takes this to a whole new level. For example, one of his most frequently displayed traits is rolling his eyes into the back of his head, rendering him completely unable to see. Why does he do this? Well, the best answer to that question is because he's Gadatsu. And over the course of the series, he has displayed a plethora of other concerning mannerisms, such as attempting to speak whilst having his lower lip stuck in his mouth, generally forgetting to blink, sticking food in his ears rather than his mouth, entering houses through windows instead of doors, and even even temporarily forgetting to breathe. With all this said, Gadatsu's general personality operates in stark contrast to his quirks, and he is generally a very serious character, known to be quite merciless and threatening. Which brings us nicely to the fact that Gadatsu was originally introduced into the series as an antagonist during the Sky Pier arc. He was one of NL's four priests who had traveled with him from the Sky Island Bilka. In fact, Gadatsu appears to be a native of that particular region, as he possesses a pair of Bilkan style wings. Sadly, he won't be going home anytime soon, as NL completely destroyed that island, but that's okay because NL together with Gadatsu and the three other priests took up residence on Skypea by ousting the former god of the nation, Garn Fall. Afterwards, the priests each established their own individual trial on the island, known as Ordeals. In Gadatsu's case, he decided to craft the Ordeal of Swamp, which essentially brings candidates into an area full of sinking clouds, while Gadatsu himself attempts to throw super special purple clouds onto their heads, which can cause a contender to drown. However, owing to Gadatsu's incompatibility with the general act of living, this ordeal has a 50% survival rate, which is significantly higher than the other three ordeals which sit at 10%, 3%, and 0% respectively. But with that said, Gadatsu is not to be taken lightly in the realm of combat as he packs quite a punch, literally, and often makes use of jet dials to increase the force of impact of his strikes. Furthermore, Gadatsu also possesses highly tuned observation haki, although to him it is known as Mantra. And using these abilities, Gadatsu became a willing participant of NL's survival game, with his greatest action of note being his fight with a certain member of the Straw Hat Pirates, Tony Tony. Chopper. During this quote unquote battle, Gadatsu displayed many of his trademark qualities and was even able to convince himself that Chopper had the ability to become invisible. However, as it turned out, Gadatsu was simply unable to see Chopper due to rolling his eyes into the back of his head, which I guess by Gadatsu's logic should really made the entire world invisible, really. But after a surprisingly fierce battle, Chopper was able to overcome Gadatsu by focusing on his jet dials and then proceeded to defeat him with a mighty attack. Gadatsu ended up trapped headfirst in one of his own sinking clouds, and in one final act of incompetence, he activated his remaining jet dial, which sent him plummeting all the way through the cloud and flying 10,000 meters down to the Blue Sea. Luckily for him, this meant that he was the only one of NL's priests not to be banished to a deserted Sky Island after the events of Skypea. However, Gadatsu would now have to face life in a very unfamiliar realm, a tale which was told in a cover story known as Gadatsu's Accidental Blue Sea Life. Now after, in Gadatsu's own words, accidentally surviving the forefront from Skypea, he landed on a then unknown island in the Grand Line, which was full of holes. There he would encounter a man by the name of Goro, who had come to the island with the intention of building a hot spring resort. Gadatsu agreed to help Goro in this endeavor, and he became an integral part of seeing the completion of the resort, most notably by defeating and recruiting a giant mole-like creature known as the Dirt Boss, as well as a baboon-like creature known as the Forest Boss. Following the completion of the resort, Goro, Gadatsu, and the Dirt Boss traveled through an undersea tunnel to Alabaster, at which point it was revealed that Goro is co his uncle. This resulted in many prominent citizens of Alabaster visiting the resort, including Princess Vivi herself. As for Gadatsu, he ended up working as a clerk at the resort and was given the epithet of Bathman, much to his surprise, as everything in life seems to be. Some more fun facts about Gadatsu. Gadatsu's name is actually the Japanese word for moksha, a Hindu and Buddhist tradition of liberating the soul. Quite specifically, moksha refers to the freedom from ignorance, which is comprised of self-realization, self-actualization, and self-knowledge. Absolutely none of which can be considered a trait of Gadatsu. 
In One Piece Grand Adventure, which is a 4 kids dubbed game, Gadatsu's name is changed to Gadatz for unknown reasons. Sadly, as a result of this, the Funimation adaptation maintains this translation so as not to confuse the already unfortunate individuals who bore witness to the 4 kids dub. In One Piece Film Gold, Gadatsu makes an incredibly brief cameo aboard the Grand Tesoro in a shot where the casino security camera was displaying Luffy. And finally, a truly useless fact. As the ever unique individual he is, Gadatsu happens to be the only one of NL's priests who does not sport any form of eyewear. And that pretty much does it for Gadatsu. If you enjoyed this video and the content this channel produces in general, then please do consider donating to the Grand Line View Patreon, because the support of all of you amazing people is what continues to make this channel possible. Also, I've recently launched a Teespring store if you're interested in shirts, hoodies, and other miscellaneous items, with proceeds going directly to support the channel as well. And if you'd like to join the fun, then please do head over to my Discord server, where a wide array of shenaniganry takes place on a daily basis. And finally, please do comment with who, what, or where you'd like to see featured in the next One Piece. 101.